Okay, welcome back everybody. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at Activity 5.2B Miniature Train. And in particular, we're going to be taking a look at the cow catcher. Uh, cow catcher is a very difficult part to create um, because it does use some new uh, new features out there like loft, which is going to require two, uh, two sketches that are offset as well as shell. And we got some tricky extrusions and stuff in here to do. So let's go ahead and get things started. Let's go ahead and start um, start a new standard inch IPT. And uh, make sure you have the dimensions in front of you. It's going to make a whole lot more sense if you kind of know, you know, where these uh, where these dimensions are coming from. Uh, from. So I'm going to go ahead and start a line starting from the origin. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that line uh, horizontal, keeping that totally horizontal. I'm going to go ahead and just dimension that. In this case, it's going to be a 1.8 dimension. I'm now going to be coming out here and drawing a line starting from the end. I'm going to take this straight up vertical, and I'm going to dimension that and that's going to be 0.25. Do the same thing for the other side, starting here from the origin, drawing a line up, keeping it vertical, go ahead and dimension that line to be 0.25. Now I'm going to come out here, draw a line, start from the end point, and I'm going to be coming out here, and we should see how it is tracking from the midpoint okay, of the larger line on the bottom, and that's good. We're going to go ahead and pick on that, and then I'm going to take that to this end point over here. Taking a look at the dimensions, we're now going to be coming up, finding the endpoint of these two lines, and taking it to the bottom, and that looks like that's going to be a height of one inch. Okay, in order to make sure that this is exactly in the center, I'm also, I'm also going to be coming out and doing a dimension from this endpoint to this line. It's going to be half of the 1.8, which is 0.9, which it is. I'm going to go ahead and green check it. I can now see that this is fully constrained, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that sketch. Now the tricky part of this is we want to show the work plane that we originally uh, had drawn on. So I'm going to come out here, go to my origin, and I'm going to find the plane that I originally worked on. I'm going to right click on it and turn the visibility on. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start a 2D sketch. I'm going to come to the border of the plane that I just turned on. I'm going to pick, hold, and drag, and I'm going to drag it back to me. Uh, these sketches or these profiles are going to be a distance of 0.75 from each other. So I'm going to come out here and type in 0.75 and green check it. All right, so in order to sort of get my uh, generalized location, what I'm going to do is project geometry and I'm going to project the bottom line forward. We can see that is yellow, so it's working for us. I'm now going to draw a line starting from the midpoint of the geometry I just projected. Okay, and I'm going to be drawing that line over. The distance of that line, <clears throat> nope, the distance of that line, okay, you might have to find some endpoints on that one, is going to be a distance, I got to look at my info here, here we go, is going to be a distance of 0.6. Now we're going to draw a line starting from this endpoint, keep it vertical, and we're going to add that dimension, which is once again 0.25. I'm going to draw a line again, starting from the origin, kicking this to the left, keeping it horizontal, and I'm going to dimension that endpoint to that endpoint, and that needs to be 0.6. I'm now going to draw a line starting from this endpoint. I'm going to take that up, keeping it vertical, and I'm going to dimension that line where it is also 0.25. So just like last time, I'm going to come up here and draw a line starting from this endpoint. I'm going to make sure that that tracks into place off of the midpoint, and then take that back down to this endpoint. Okay, I'm now going to dimension this endpoint to the bottom of this line, <clears throat> and I'm going to see that that is a dimension of 0.75. Last part of this, in order to keep uh, keep the middle of this where it's supposed to be. I'm going to dimension this endpoint, take it over to this line, and make sure that I pop in a 0.6 dimension on that one. We can see that these are fully constrained. I'm now going to finish the sketch. I'm going to come up here and find my loft, and I'm going to pick on the first sketch. You're going to see how it highlights, because that is the profile that is closed. And then I'm going to come back here and pick my second sketch, and we will also see that will highlight, and it will also give you a preview of what this is going to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and pick OK. All right, so at this point in time, we are not going to be needing these planes anymore, so right-click on a plane and go ahead and uncheck the visibility, and then come down to your second work plane, right-click, and uncheck the visibility. So let's take a look at what we have. Okay, so this is what the, the cow catcher kind of looks like. 
Okay, we got a good start on it. And I would say at this point in time is go ahead and go to an isometric corner, come up to the home icon, right click, and set the current view as home and fit to view. All right, so we can see, um, if we take a look at the dimensions, we can see that this has actually been shelled out. And the shell thickness on the wall is 0.1. So I'm going to flip this over, look at the bottom of the cow catcher. I'm going to come up here to shell. The thickness needs to be 0.1. So all I have to do is come in here and remove the face okay, on the bottom. Okay, make sure thickness is 0.1, pick on remove face, pick the face on the bottom, and you will see how it will shell that out. All right. The next thing we're going to have to do is come in here, and you can see that there's some, some sort of a grill on the front of this. Okay, and basically what's happening is, is it's just going to be an extrusion of the current profile after it's been offset, and that's going to be going in, looks like 0.05. So in order to do this, you're going to start a 2D sketch, you're going to pick the face, you are going to project geometry of the face, and the last thing you're going to have to do is come up here and go to offset. Now, if you're only seeing one line, okay, when you're moving over uh, one piece of geometry, Okay, that means we have to right click first and select loop select. Loop select is now going to allow you to select all pieces of that geometry. Okay, it's going to select the entire loop. So we're going to go ahead and pick on the line. We're going to pull this in. And it looks like 0.1 is the distance we're going to use to offset. So I'm going to type in 0.1. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to go ahead, finish the sketch. I'm going to do an extrude. I'm going to pick the inside profile. But I want this to be a cut, and it looks like the, uh, the cut that's going to be going in is 0 0.05. I can now go ahead and say OK, just like that. OK, so now that that is done, um, we could repeat the same process all over again for the other side, or we could use mirror. So let's just try using mirror. Do we have anything going through it? Nope, doesn't look like it. So what we're going to be doing this time is is I'm going to go up to plane. I'm going to pick this point, this point, and I'm going to be looking for the plane that's going to be going in the direction I'm wanting it to go. And it looks like that didn't work. So no problem. Here's what we can do instead. Let's go ahead. Let's do a start 2D sketch, and let's pick on the top of this. And let's go ahead and draw a point. And that point is going to be right there at that point that just uh, showed up. We're going to finish the sketch. And now this time, let's try it again. Let's go ahead and pick on plane, pick on the point, and let's go out here and see if we can pick on an existing plane to send it in the direction I'm wanting it to go. Worked perfect. Okay, so in this case, now we can go ahead and go to mirror. We can pick the inside extrusion that we just did. Pick the red arrow for mirror plane, and now actually come over and pick on the work plane. You're going to see the preview on it, and go ahead and say OK. Since we are done with this work plane, let's go ahead and right-click on the work plane, uncheck the visibility, and now that's going to be working great for us. OK, so we can see that we do have some geometry kind of hanging over. This is what's left over from the sketch. It's an unconsumed sketch, so let's go over there, right-click on it, and let's come down and uncheck visibility. The next place we need to come and look at is going to be the back of the cow catcher. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch on the back of the cow catcher. I'm going to project geometry forward on this one. Okay, and now I'm going to come out here and draw a circle. Make sure when you're drawing a circle you're not finding any geometry like this and make sure you're not picking on any green points. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my circles. And it's going to be a little bit difficult to avoid some geometry, but we got it. And it looks like those circles, those cylinders we're going to be extruding, <clears throat> they all have a diameter. It's going to make me look here. That looks like 0.125. And we could actually go back to the, uh, the train body, and we could double check, but I'm pretty sure they're 0.125. So let's go ahead and dimension those. So that one's 0.125. This one is 0.125, and this one is 0.125. Okay, taking a look at the dimensions that are given for us. Um, let's see, it looks like 
uh, let's see here. It looks like this guy is going to be directly down the center. And it looks like this entire bottom is going to be 1.8. So I'm going to go ahead and dimension this center point over to this end point. And it's going to be half of 1.8, which is 0.9. So we're going to slide that right over. Okay, the other thing that we're going to have to do is make sure that the dimension from this center point to this center point is 0.625. So that's going to slide. And the dimension from this center point to this center point is also 0.625. So that's going to slide over. Uh, let's see here. It looks like the dimension from the center point to the bottom is 0.125. And the center point to the bottom on this one is also going to be 0.125. The last thing we have to do is come out here and dimension center point to center point. And it looks like this one is 0.625. Nope. It's not from the center point. That dimension from the center point here to the very bottom is going to be 0.625. There we got it. Okay, so I think those have all been placed correctly. Uh, everything is showing as fully constrained, so that's good. Let's go ahead and finish that sketch. And let's do an extrusion now of this, this, and this profile. And it looks like those are going to be coming out a distance of 0.125. And we're going to go ahead and say OK. And now it's saying that these need to have a chamfer, if I can find my note. The chamfer is 0.01. Uh, and that's going to be at 45 degrees, so we can come up to chamfer, change your distance to 0 0.01, and then come over here and pick on this edge, pick on this edge, and pick on this edge to apply the chamfer that's at 45. Okay, so it looks like cow catcher is done. And the last thing you're going to have to do is come up here, apply ABS plastic. And the other thing you have to do is switch this over and turn this to black. Okay, so that's it. That is Cowcatcher. It's a tricky one. Follow the video tutorial. You should have no problems. Good luck with that.